بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم in the name of allah the beneficent the merciful وان لمسنا السماء فوجدناها ملئت حرسا شديدا وشهبا and the jinn who had listened to the quran said We had sought the heaven but had found it filled with strong waters and meteors. And we used to sit on places high therein to listen. But he who listened now find the flame in wait for him. And we know not whether harm is voted unto all who are in the earth, or whether their Lord intended guidance for them. Even if this pole shift took place slowly over years, it would result in global climate change and shifting sea levels. If it took place rapidly, it would mean planet-wide disaster and mass extinction of species. Seashells. Uh, here we go. I got close. Hundreds of thousands of dead fish washing up on shore along the Delaware Bay from middle to lower townships. And this is no joke. This could be the most enormous heat-related death ever at the Jersey Shore. Wednesday night and the big story on Action News tonight is a massive fish kill in Cape May County. Action News reporter Dan Cuellar is live near the scene. Dan, you've got the full story. Yes, Jim, officials tonight remain mystified over this major washup of dead fish along the Delaware Bay here in Cape May County. While the investigation is ongoing, already there is at least one theory by scientists on what may have happened to those fish. It was a strange sight. Hundreds of thousands of dead fish along the shore of the Delaware Bay in Cape May County. No, I've never seen anything like this. I have to say... Hundreds when I first saw them, and then it became thousands. There were masses, and they were floating. The fish, juvenile menhaden, also known as peanut bunker, were washed up on miles of shoreline from the villa section of Lower Township to Pierce's Point in Middle Township. Just rows and rows of big row of fish all the way up as far as you can walk. Yesterday, they were in the water. They were jumping up. You could see them, and there was porpoise out here. I guess they were feeding on them. Residents say the fish began washing up on shore early this morning, creating a foul smell as they baked in the hot sun. Well, thousands of fish are dead at the mouth of a shipping channel, as well as a dead whale that was reported in Venice today. The species include crabs, stingrays, eel, drum, speckled trout, and redfish. The video you're about to see is not a gravel road. Those are the dead fish. Plaquemines Parish President Billy Nungesser sent these pictures. He says that there is no testing going on to determine if the fish are dead from the oil spill. Although the northern gulf has suffered a persistent dead zone of low oxygen, blamed on nutrient-rich runoff from the Mississippi River. Nungesser says that this is different because usually the kills happen to only one or two species of fish. Now we have a team of reporters on the ground in Chile. We'll be reporting from the country's second largest city of Concepcion, which was near the epicenter, and we'll be in the town of Talca, 
where almost every home was severely damaged. But first, Teresa Bo has just reached the city of Constitucion, and she joins us now live from there. Teresa, talk to us a little bit about what you have seen so far in terms of the damage. Well, Kimberly, the city is completely devastated, not only by the earthquake, but also by a tsunami that completely destroyed and flooded this part of the city uh, where I am. Right now, you can see here to my right, most of these houses were destroyed, not by the earthquake, but by waves. We were able to see fish inside uh, of them. People here are telling us uh, that they were desperate, that they have no food. Uh, many of them had to escape up to the hills because they're afraid that this uh, tsunami uh, or an earthquake could happen uh, once again here uh, in this area. Uh, m many, the government is saying that around 350 people died here, but we are told by the local population that a lot more uh, have died. There's a stadium not far away from where I am. We were not allowed to go inside, but apparently it is being used as a mass grave. Uh, so, and radio station, local radio stations are saying that at least 500 people have died here in the city. We were not able to confirm that independently. However, most of the people that we have spoken to say that there was a festival on the night of the earthquake and that many, many people have died here. Well, there is concern down the Jersey Shore tonight. The Department of Environmental Protection is looking into a large fish kill. They found thousands of dead fish along the Delaware Bay in Cape May County. The fish appear to be a species called Minhaden. Experts uh, have not found anything toxic in the water. In uh, Bolivia, South America, the weather is being completely altered and changed. I'm not exactly sure what's happening, but all over the world things are changing. We're talking about environmentally, the weather related changes may have an effect. Look at all these dead uh, animals, these dead fish. This is in Bolivia, South America. Alligators dead everywhere. Whatever was in the water is coming up dead. Uh, this is happening all over the place. It's happening in the United States. It's happening in South America. What is going on? Um, I've got footage of other things happening in um, uh, the Middle East on some of the beaches where there's just th millions and millions of seashells that are just washing up the dead animals that live within the shells are somehow just washing up on shore. All you see is an ocean of just dead seashells. A doomsday conspiracy. The government plot to save the elite but not you. We are maybe just a few years away from destruction, the likes of which no society has ever seen. Do scientists really believe the Earth is headed for disaster in 2012? It would fly out the transformers of the planet. We'd be back to the Dark Ages. One of the scenarios is this 5,000 foot tall tsunami wave that'll wash over the continental United States. Do our leaders think they can build bunkers for a select few and leave the rest of us to fend for ourselves? The U.S. government have been on a crash shelter building program from coast to coast. Jesse Ventura takes his investigation to the highest levels of power and deep underground. Are your security forces prepared to fire on American citizens to protect the facility? They'll do what it takes.